record record to XML transformation. That means let's suppose you have one record. For example, uh, we have the Matner, you know, Matner. We have M dot, we have M A T K like that. We have material number. We have one, two, three, something like that. R O H is the M dot, and material group is like M A T J one. Now this particular information I want to convert into the XML format. Okay. I want to convert into the XML format. So how I can do so, all right? And why it is, and why we are uh, thinking to like, you know, convert into the XML. The reason behind that basically, you know, the outer world, let's suppose this is your SAP system. And if you want to communicate with the outer world, like if you want to send this data to the outer world, Okay, any any application outer world like Java application, .NET application, uh, any third party software. Then third party software, this record, they will not understand. This need to be converted into XML. And uh, XML is a universal language. And that language can be understood by any of the uh, application. So this record need to be converted into the XML and then need to be sent to the outer world so that they can understand. So in those requirements where you have to communicate with the outer world, your record need to be converted into XML format. And then, you know, uh, and then you have to send it. So this is what actually we have record to XML transformation. Now let's go and try to understand how we can do so. I've created already one program and I will show you how it's working. See, so like that actually you will get the data. You need to uh, get it the data. Okay, and for that, the program which I have created, and this is the program. Okay, so let's save it, activate it. Let's try to understand the step by step process. So what you have to do that you have to create transformation. The first step to create the transformation. So here. Steps. One create the transformation first. Second step. You have to create the program now. So first step, create the transformation uh, using the T code XSLT underscore tool. Second step, create a program to convert the record using transformation. Okay, so first we will be creating a transformation. So transformation is nothing but which is going to help you to transform your record from uh, uh, you know normal table format to XML format. Okay, so for that we have to use this uh, particular tool XSLT underscore tool. Let's quickly go here and slash and control V and let's create one. Uh, for example, Z. Uh, Z, hmm. this is inner circle call transform, something like that. I'm giving this name. Click on this create button. I see a demo for XML transformation and transformation type select simple transformation. Click on this OK button, local object, and uh, here you will get one option, a wizard. Just click on this wizard option. Right click over here, insert new root and give the name over here. For example, I want to, you know, give this uh, means I want to transform the material information uh, into XML format. Okay, so this record is nothing but the material information, right? So I'm just giving the same name material info you can have any name over here that is not a big deal 
and whatever the field you have that field uh this uh, means this field should be part of a structure you know because matner m tart and matkl you have to give the type for this root name so you have to create one you know you you have to open one another uh this thing and click on this uh, data type and give mat is mat info something like that you'll have to create the structure click in this structure and here mat info and matner then matner m tart then m tart over here m a t k l and m a t k l then it looks fine just click on the save button local object check the syntax and click on this activate button so you can see there uh, this my requirement was to you know, transform these three records into xml format so for this purpose i require to have these three fields a part of a structure so i made it like this saved and activate copied this structure and when you are defining the root root name give the type name like this save this one and here like if you see that this three field size come just drag and drop to the right you know so this is the uh, transformation and this is the source this is source and this is the transformation this is the destination this is how actually you want to convert just save this one and click on this activate button and if you just to go back and click on the source code you will see that this transformation is already uh, created so this is going to help you to transform a record into the xml code so nothing to worry it's a simple just copy this transformation name and go and write a program let's see uh 38 we can go and z inner circle xml transform demo click on this create button xml trans formation demo and save this one local object and 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 now come here this is the transformation name what you will have to do the call transformation you have to call transformation this is the transformation name right and then you'll have to give the source so in source this value one two three roh and matg one you will have to uh, pass it so let's quickly define a work area and data w a type and what's the structure we have created and this is the structure in sc11 control v and w a hyphen mat not equals to this one two three roh and matg one right so one two three w a hyphen m tart equal to roh and w a hyphen m a t uh, k l equals to m a t g one like that right i have given so source is your w a you want to transform correct and uh, mm, source source is this one so this is a syntax like you'll have to give the document over here document equal to wa and then once it is going to transform then it's going to hold the data into a variable okay so let's define that variable uh, to underscore xml like that type x string so this will have to put it over here that's it so what it will do that uh, the document 
like what's the value you have over here that will be transformed into this XML format. Okay, check the syntax over here and it looks fine and just put the breakpoint here and activate. It's telling does not have a parameter document. Then what is the parameter? Let's 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 uh, uh, check it quickly. I have written already a program. Just missing that parameter. Okay, fine. So it should be that source actually we should have uh, the one uh, which we have created as a uh, you know root node. Okay, so slash in xslt underscore tool and transformation. This was right, and in this this is what we have created as a root node. If you remember right, when I clicked on this button then this material underscore info right so material underscore info should be there basically here so that's why it's uh, telling this material underscore info i have given now it's fine activate this one activate and now press effort and here in wa you can see that this is the value we have populated and in the transformation this is what we have this is in hexadecimal string the value is coming if you just select this var underscore xml it will you can see that it is now getting populated into the xml format so this is how you have to do and in case like if you want to display here what you have to do first you have to create one document from this uh, particular xml formats so for that we have a functional module called sdi underscore sdi xml xml then to dom so something like that we have a function module just click on this or press f f4 yeah this is the function module so what basically it is going to do that this value the hexadecimal string it will be converted into the document because we want to display the document right so it will be converted into the a document and now lv underscore dom type the type uh ref2 like you can go inside this and you can see what actually you can give the type right A reference type ref to this one just copy this control v and paste it over here so basic about understanding we are going to use and control v always good practice to enable the exception right so size of us is not equals to zero. That means some problem. Some problem. Please check something like that I have given. Okay. Or like if it's a, a size of us is zero, then in that case, we want to display this document on the screen. So for that purpose, we have one another FM in order to display that document on the screen. STI xml okay dom to a screen so this is the function model we can use so this is the document we want to display on this screen just paste it over here and here also like we can enable the exception and here in case not equal to zero right some problem occurred so pretty printer check the syntax over here click on this activate button and now just press f8 and i will see that this is how you are able to get the output